Oh, went scratch straight in the side. Ouch. And Melling leaps out of his chair. The balls take their places. I think the two passes the five. And it looks like he's got a 310 combination. His rack should probably be over in a minute. Chris doesn't waste his time between shots if they're just laying there. He'll just come over here and see exactly where he needs to be and then just get down and do it. Boom. And like I said, in less than a minute, it's uh, game is over. 1-0. Mr. Melling. Okay, and it is Chris's rack and Chris's break. There's a rematch on the one loss side. These are all one loss. Uh, oh no, I'm sorry. The women's one loss side is uh, a rerun of the Chen Siming Allison Fisher match. They played earlier in the tournament, which uh, some of you faithful viewers might have seen the match because we covered it. And Allison went ahead of Chen. Eight to four. Chen Siming managed to tie it back up at eight, and uh, but Allison pulled it out. So sending Chen to the loser side, the one lost side, and she's battled her way all the way back uh, to where she's uh, facing Allison again. Allison was just defeated by Kelly Fisher. the balls and the balls are not laying well this time. There's lots of problems. He's looking at all the different possibilities. Wouldn't you just love to be able to hear what these players are thinking? Very nicely done. Most of these, and almost all these players play so well at the bridge now. Before it goes, if you can get the cue ball in the right place. Bring the cue ball back to the middle of the table. Big bounce. And he went a little bit further than he wanted to.
No, he undercut it. It was a tough shot. It was a tough shot. Hamer jumping back in. Uh, see, Chris Milling took the first rack already. Yes, he did. It was quick. It was quick. Just the ribs, a 310 combination. Stretching out his arm, trying to loosen it up. Well, he hit it good and he got a nice angle. He sure did. Sure did. Make the ball. stretch to make this and, uh, and get back on the nine to get back on the nine yeah properly you might even sacrifice uh, sac oh yeah <laughs> there's no sacrifice here hit it how good. did he hit it oh it didn't. you know it's so beautiful I keep forgetting he's the magician that's our friend Reyes Mary I know Could have used a few more inches on that, on that shot. Yeah. Yeah. No problem. No problem. One one. All right. We got action. Simming Chen and Allison Fisher match has begun just to our left caddy corner. And um, so many great matches. It, it, it's amazing. I mean, I remember in the old days, you would go to the board and, you know, you wouldn't have all great matches until you got down to the end. This tournament has been so different that right from the very beginning, there were just so many just right. super every, matches. Every match yeah. has been great. Yeah. All right, rack number three coming up. Efren Reyes, we breaking. Yeah, tied it up, 1-1. One, one. I love the way <laughs> Efren takes little 10 minute naps in between uh, matches and... Power naps. He, well, he's always, and he's always done that. And then just jumps up and just plays great. <laughs> Six, six foul. Six, six got foul, it. and looks like the three's going to dribble in. Nope. But no shot on the no one. No shot. Or maybe, he's, does he have a shot, a half ball? No, it looks like he... Can he hit the uh, like right half? Or has he got a, Can he twirl around it, I guess is the better question. For those... Folks have just tuned in. Efren has been awarded the lifetime, the Asian Culture Lifetime Achievement Award. He's the first recipient. Uh, the award is given, going to be presented by the governor of Nevada later on in the week, and uh, it's pretty cool because uh, Nevada is the uh, only state in the country right now to have to recognize the Asian culture and uh, it's, uh, it's pretty cool it's a pretty cool thing well Efren's caught the window here for the shot on the one he could bank this to back down into the three I'm looking to see what he's going to call Nine's hanging in front of the side. Do you think he'll even try to tangle with that? Right. 
Nice cue and center ball. High ball, it looks like. Oh, <laughs> bingo. Freeze the, the cue ball behind the ten, or is he going to shoot the one? That's, a, that's pretty good too. Good shot. Chris calling in the side pocket. He's going to do a two rail kick to kick the one to the side. Seen her it, uh, all week, but I uh, I don't know her name. Is that is that we from before? Do you think? I've seen her from afar, so I'm not sure. And she may have been the one that was playing Guy Young Kim. Before in that corner over there. Milling has an edge. Edge of the two ball. It's close. Yeah, he does. Okay, so he's looking for two. Oh, he's gonna try to cut it in. Probably has no choice, that's probably all he can see of the ball. Oh boy. Boy, he pretty, hit it pretty good. I think the nine ball fell. Wasn't that hanging in front of the side? I think so. Well, Efren comes and looks at the shot. And you know, one of the things that uh, I noticed that Efren does not do is he does not use the jump cue. And uh, this is a pretty makeable shot for, us, for a jump cue. Yeah. He made a great shot and I think he came out for the four. A 
great shot that was. Mm. Wow. And he, he had plenty of room too for that shot. He's 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 sick. He's sick. <laughs> yeah, that's what Yeah. But he had to hit it with some power to, to punch it off the rail. And he, Efren just nonchalantly gets up to the table. Side. Yeah, oh. he, did he scratch? He scratched in the side. Boy, when he came off the end rail, I was. Wow. Boy, Chris just looked at Ephraim like, wow. <laughs> it could be the cue ball, too. You know, the cue ball has been, uh, this particular cue ball has done some strange things. Oh, quick. Yeah, I was fortunate. That is, remember I said, yeah, that is uh, Zhu Chin Wei, or we. I'm not well, sure. Playing Rita Cho on right. the table at the top of your screen. And I, and I think it's Chow, but I'm not positive. It's Cho. It is Cho, she for sure? She pronounced it Okay, good. All right. Everly is leading Dennis Recoyo two to one currently, and he's set to go three to one right now with the two easy shots on the next table here. Okay, explosive break, and Melling again made the one in the corner, two down here in the corner, and is straight in on the three. Getting to the four is a little tricky because of the position of the four ten. So we got a little spot in there. Small window. Yeah. Across the room, I see Dan Louie sitting in the stands. He's uh, an old school player from back in the day. Still plays pretty sporty. And uh, he's sweating uh, the Allison Fisher Chen Siming match. Dan still uh, competes occasionally in China. Chris, to me, is one of those players that I can't figure out how the guy ever loses a match. <laughs> I know. He just, his, his execution is so nice. Perfect and yeah. 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 I'm a huge fan. Smooth. Yeah. Great form. Mm hmm. And quick. I like quick. You know, when there's no problems down there, he just gets down and does it. 2-1, Chris Melling with the lead. Yep. Max Everly goes up 3-1 to one on Dennis Recoyo on the next table.
Okay. From trailing, two to one and breaking. It's three to one? Okay. Sorry, Ray. Three to one. Belling. It is three now? Yeah. So he just came over. Gave us an update. So we missed a game somewhere. And yes, we did. Well, he, he ran it out so fast. It was a blur. Yep. He does that when they're laying yeah. there. It, it is a blur. He doesn't waste any time between shots. He just gets it done. heard him somebody missed you <laughs> the dreaded sound <laughs> yeah they have that and the cue hitting the hitting or the tile or, or yeah and the cue hitting the tiles or concrete yeah, yep. either one it's like a, it's like fingernails on a, on a chalkboard yeah. as pool players yep Well, the hot seat match uh, for the women's uh, division is already set, and that will be Guy Young Kim versus Kelly Fisher. That is, uh, that will be our next match, also. Smelling's got a, a chance here to spin this off the off the top rail just to hit the one ball. I don't think he can do much more than that. Mary Kenson back with us now. Welcome back, Mary. Hi guys. got a shot. They're all separated quite well, but uh, the problem is getting shape on the two to get to the three. So he's got to decide, does he want to shoot the one on the side or the one in the corner? Both options are available. All right, he's just called the corner. He's going to try to float the cue ball over to the side. Very nice.
Looks like now he's got to suck it back and play uh, the three on the short side. Beautifully hit. Little bounce off the end rail. He's got a window for the five, but again, he's got to come back down to the end of the table for the six. Trying to figure out how far up table he wants to get. Mm-hmm. He might even play to go under it. Okay. Or maybe he'll just uh, come straight back. It looks like a really good spot. Yeah. Where he's at. Yeah. Like maybe he can just even spin off the right side of the five and come back mm -hmm. out missing the eight. Well, Efren likes to be, you know, so sad. he's going to come back. He's out of the woods now. Still a little tricky, seven to the eight. He's got to decide right here what he wants to do. He'll try to keep it as simple as he can. Try to just slide up table, maybe. Yeah, just like that. Do you think he'll go all the way around him to play the eight in the same pocket as a seven? I don't think so. I think he's going to shoot the eight up table. And he just looked at the angle where he's going to come off on the rail. I mean, it's possible. Uh, or just do that and come out. <laughs> That'll work. Yeah. And then I'll just snatch this back for the nine on the side and the ten on the opposite side. Fairly routine shot, but it's a pretty one. 3-2. Melling in the lead. Okay, Melling fixing the break. He'd like to win this one, maintain his lead. Again, one in the corner. Hmm. Does he play the 210? Hmm. Or does he just pocket the two and because the three is laying close to the pocket. That's what I think. I think he's, he's uh, He doesn't playing, like it. I think he's playing the two. He's, you know, assuming he's going to be offensive here and shoot at something. Yep, he called the pocket. He's firing. What, he called the two? He called the two ball. Okay, yeah, nice. Very nice. Well, it gets good on the four. This match, the game should be over. Well, if, he, he, if he gets good on the four, well, I mean, there's, you know, you know he's gonna. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> did, he get, did he get good on the four? He got he perfect. Got ball on the four. Ball hand position for the four. Yeah. Very nice. Might might want to. Had a little bit uh, more angle, maybe a little bit closer, so we didn't have to stretch so far. Oh yeah, you know? yeah. But uh, 
Well, yeah, that's perfect. Right there, yeah. And he, he actually had a good angle as well. Yeah. 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 And just roll forward, just a touch. Yeah. Yeah, one rail up. Tens in a difficult position, but uh place the cue ball properly like he did, it's not a problem. Beautifully done. Four to two milling. He's got his hands full. Well, we've got one more match uh, tonight, and I believe it's going to be the hot seat of the women's event. I'm going to double confirm that here before we make the official announcement, but that I think that's that's going to be the match. Okay. I'm going to check the boards uh, real quick. I'll be right back, Mayor. All right. Okay, Efren breaking. He trails four to two. Okay, he pocketed the ball. And he's got a shot on the one. You make two in the break. Yeah, two in the break. Well, they're all laying pretty good. I think he'll get out here. He doesn't really have to do anything fancy to get out. He just has to get it done. These layouts are really a treat in ten ball because uh, they don't come up that often you know, after the break. At least not from what I've seen this tournament. It's been a lot of very tactical games with a lot of safety battles and safety play. A lot of times each player will get to the table two and three, four times in a game, which you rarely see in nine ball. And just come up and shoot the eight in the side. Overran a little bit, but it's not a problem. Pretty routine shot for a player of his caliber. Four to three.
All right, we're back, and uh, Chris Melling. Oh, kicked right into the side pocket. Brutal. All right, Efren Reyes with ball in hand to start off with. Chris up by two. Mad Max Eberle up 4-2 over Dennis Arquillo on the next table as well. This rack is a little trickier than the last one. It's always better when you start off with ball in hand, though. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that was uh, an uncharacteristic scratch on the break. So do you take a chance to bust these up right now? Well, he's trying, there he goes. Did he hook himself? I think he did. from here. Maybe he's okay. Yeah, I guess he is. Yeah. But he's still got a... Yeah, he didn't get where he wanted to get. He wanted to get right, touch that 7 and 10 and separate them. I wonder if he can play the 5 off the 8. Maybe. And, and, and use the 8 to break out the 10-7. Yeah. And all the while holding the cue ball for the for the six. Yeah, it's possible, but I think the eight is a little low. We'll see. He might even just draw into it off the five. Well, he did play it off the eight. Now look, the, 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 the eight, eight took, took the place play. of the seven. <laughs> that's wow, brutal. that's so cold. Yeah. Well, the eight's. It looks like it's not as bad. It's not as bad, but still. I mean, that was just unbelievable. It was just <laughs> wow. That's how it usually goes, though, right? Of course. Falls mm -hmm. knows who's winning. Out of the pot and into the fire. Yep. If anybody can get out here, Efren will. He, he actually got good. He's going to come up underneath it, I think. He got really good. Yeah. He can yeah. he can just uh, bunt up for the eight in the side pocket now, it looks like. I think like. so, yeah. Yep. Yep, sure did. And that's the key right there, is, is make it make your next shot easy by staying yeah. in line. Yeah, and just recover and just do what you got to do. Get it done. Everyone doesn't even care that the rack is still on the table. You can see part of it sticking up. Usually just leaves it. Yeah. Let's leave it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, shove it out of the way. <laughs> what a great run out. Yep, yeah, within one. Fan love, fans loved it. You have any idea what the score is? On that match? That, which match the, is that? The Max match. Max Dennis match. Uh, Max Everly and Dennis Somebody Arquillo. Somebody has two. Yeah, Max Everly is leading four to two four right to now. Four to two, okay. Dennis is about to score and make it four yeah, three. Yeah, four three. He's making quick work of this one. I believe Chen Siming is leading four one over Allison Fisher, but I'm not positive. All right, rack eight, Efren breaking, here we go. Efren's been breaking really powerfully this event too. It's like he's been rejuvenated. Boy, look at how they all just clump together again. Uh, looks like Chris does not have a shot on the one ball here. Nothing fell. No. Uh, dry break. No.
It's like your biggest fear and pool. Where do I push out to on Efren Reyes? Mm. He's going to push out to a jump. And Efren's going to let him have it because he doesn't jump. We'll get the score updated. It is actually four to four. Correction, four to four. And Chris okay. Melling with a good hit on the on the one. Well, he might, I, he might uh, just I, come back to the table. Oh, he's getting this back, yeah, for sure. Yeah, I've heard said, yeah, shoot again. <laughs> whenever, whenever a player calls a calls a pocket and then accidentally knocks in a ball in another pocket or a, or a different ball. Um, on a good hit still, it would be uh, the, in, the, in, the other player would have the opportunity just to give the shot back. Yeah, you have the option. Yeah, that's what's happened here. Yep. Chris using the uh, diamond system and a few others, uh, a check, uh, check and double check. He used two different systems there to, to make sure he hit this on the, in the correct spot on the rail. Boy, he just feathered it. I don't think he likes that. He'd be lucky to hit that ball. There may be a billiard on the four nine. I mean the four ten. Efren doesn't like it where he got on the... Filipinos are very expressive. Efren not as much as Roberto and uh, some of the other guys, but uh, he's more <laughs> accepting. But every once in a while, he'll express his displeasure, his disgust at himself. <laughs> right. You know. Well, we've seen him do one one uh, one that thing. We've seen him we've seen him do where he reaches up to his shoulder, and he gets that monkey off his back. Yeah, grabs a little, grabs a little little monkey and throws him off yeah. his back. Yeah, and usually grins when he does it. <laughs> yeah, and then of course the, uh, the little head scratch that he, he does occasionally. Right. Yeah. He had to quit doing that though because he wore a little spot off. Of it. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> okay, it's coming down. And he's going to play the billiard on the on the ten from underneath, like I said before. Yeah, the ten is coming. What a great shot! Efren Reyes, moves the to magician. Four. Yeah, the the Philippine magician. Yeah, that's they, true. They They're call, both the magicians. Yeah, they call Chris Melling the magician in uh, in England as Did well. Did he take just take the lead five four? Has he won the last three in a row? That is right. Wow. Five to four now. Wow. I get so engrossed in the match that I kind of forget the score sometimes. Even though it's staring me in the face. <laughs> well, that's assuming it's correct. And assuming it's correct, yeah. Well, Dennis last, won that last one. He's got three. Melling breaking. Ten will spot up and Chris will continue shooting. Sportsmanship from yeah, Efren Reyes there. Yeah, I say that. That's, uh, Coming up and spotting the 10. Yeah. Well, in the old days, uh, we used to do that. If we scratched, we'd go down and get the cue ball from the, for the sure. opponent and give it to him. And you don't see that uh, right. courtesy uh, as often today. Right. And, uh, Mm 
Again, simple safety, just separation between the balls, just one rail. Effective. Got a little trouble that six is big. It's blocking the path. The natural path. Didn't even try to hit it. Yeah. I remember years ago when he first came to the States, I was sitting up in the stands at Reds watching the finals between Efren, under the name of Cesar Morales, mm -hmm. playing Wade Crane, Billy, under the name Billy, Billy Johnson, Johnson yeah. who was our good friend and who was having a great year. He was winning just about everything that year. And I'm sitting up in the stands with Buddy Hall, and after the second or third game, he just leans over to me and he said, see this guy here? And he nods his head at Ephraim. I said, yeah. He said, watch this man whenever you get a chance. He says, he may be the best player you'll ever see in your life. And I, my head snapped around and I looked at him because this here, is, Hall saying here this. is my idol <laughs> telling me to watch someone else. You know, I considered Buddy. Uh, and I still consider him... Uh, uh, one of the greatest players I've ever seen, and uh, telling me to watch somebody else. And uh, after seeing him play one time, I mean, how strong was that? Nice shot from Chris. Pretty routine from here, Ray, for a player of his caliber. Perfect. Just come out a little bit. Be able to come off the rail with the eight. Chris Melling set to tie it up. He holds his hand at the back and pauses in the back uh, like uh, some other players. Allison does it, Buddy Hall does it, you know, the pause in the back whereas most players pause in the front and then pull back and shoot. Uh -huh. He does it uh, in the back. You ever try to do that? I've tried. I've experimented with it. Mm -hmm. and it's very difficult yeah. uh, to do. I actually like it. When you, uh, I, d I do like it, but uh, it's different, though. It's yes. You no, know, because a lot, you know a lot of people actually you know teach the the pendulum to right. to smooth well, transition. That was the, the American way, pretty yeah. much. You know, yeah. and uh, tell you just, what, that all that pause at the back uh, seems uh, pretty effective. Oh, it's very effective. It's very effective. But when you've been playing one way your whole life, it's very difficult to to change, yeah. To change. And I was watching uh, Chen Semaine, and she pauses at the front, and then pulls back and pauses at the back, and then fires. She pauses in both spots. Wow. And, uh, yeah. Well, it uh, looks like uh, no good on the break uh, here from Efren. He has pocketed the ball. The eight ball is down, but no shot on the one. And I'm not even sure he can see the edge of this. Uh, I don't think so. I if think it, he's fully hooked. If he could see the edge, uh, it's a, it seems like a scratch. Yeah. He can twirl around it, uh, but uh, he's going to push. And he just placed the cue ball on the end rail, limiting, limiting the cue ball. Of 
<laughs> He's a giant of a man. I'm reading Mark Tad's comment on our photo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, for those of you that um, might not be aware of what we're talking about here, a Facebook post that uh, Kelly Isaac had posted. I, I, well, I took a picture of it with Mary, and I was standing on the platform on the uh, our riser, <laughs> just so I didn't have to be shorter than Mary again. <laughs> I told him that Dennis Arcoyo has. I make Dennis sit on my. I mean, uh, Alex. I make Alex sit on my lap. For our pictures. He loves it. Every year we take a lap picture at Derby City. He just comes over and plops himself on my lap. <laughs> Demands to have the picture taken. Yeah, it's funny. He's a riot. He's over at the World Cup of pool. Yes, playing with uh, Jason Klatt for Canada. Oh, okay. And uh, I wonder if the American, our American team won with Shane and they did uh, win. Sky. They did win. Okay, good for them. They beat Finland early this morning in the wee hours. Okay. Well, he got he got down there where he can wow, see he it. he sure did. He sure did. Probably just thin this and go up table with the cue ball. Yeah. <coughs> he doesn't like it. Notice how he holds the bridge. He holds it in his palm and he holds it upwards, whereas most people hold it with their palm facing down. Yeah, like mm -hmm. that. He he held it differently with his mm. palm facing upward on that shot. Interesting. Yeah. Well, he's left Chris in a tough spot. Chris uh, sure has. He's going to have his work cut out just to hit this. I like Chris to hit it though. Oh, he's definitely the favorite. He knows all the systems. And he's just doing his calculations now. Beautiful hit. Left him a shot. It's not easy. And Allison wins the game to make it 4 3. She trails Chen Siming by one game. Looks like Dennis may have pulled ahead. I think he's got six. Back at this match, from shooting the three, playing it off the top of the balls there. He was unfortunate. He hit it well. Needed to roll another half a, half a ball. Yeah. Well, he's calling it the top right corner pocket. Oh boy, bingo. Or gin. Gin. <laughs> wow. Yeah, 
Wow. Yeah, that's what I like to say. Bingo. Yeah. Bingo. <laughs> We'll have to start using bingo. I'm getting tired of Jen. Wow. Bingo. Meanwhile, he's straight in. Uh, which, you know, is, is good, I guess, because you don't have to really do anything for the six. But spear it in. <laughs> Never a little bit of a smile there. Got that over with. Back out to the center of the table, and it's routine from here. That's all right. And Efren Rails will be taking the lead once again over Chris Melling, six to five. Yeah. We'll just go ahead and give it to him. How many how many money balls do you think Efren shot in his career? Quite a few. Maybe more than anyone. 6-5, Efren Reyes takes the lead, race into nine. And if you're just joining us, I'm your host, Ray Hanson. I'm here with uh, Mary Keniston. And we're Hi, folks. Hey, we're watching the uh, live coverage here of the Asian Culture Day Pool Tournament in Las Vegas, Nevada. We're at the Orleans Casino and the Arena. The Orleans <laughs> Arena, they call it. Beautiful facility. This is my first time in the Orleans Arena, and I have to say, it's uh, it's very nice. It's very nice. Yeah, well done. All right, here we go. Chris Milling, rack twelve. Try break. Left a shot on the one. A lot of traffic. But the two is the two and the three are both hanging in front of the pockets. He's looking to see where he's gonna come off on the rail over there. He'd like to hit the six full and just stay there. Center ball. Yeah, I think he's hooked behind the five. Yes, he is. He came under the, uh, he hit the bottom part of the six. He needed to hit the side of it. Melly sat up a little straight straighter in his chair. He knows he's got a pretty good chance of getting back to the table. three is available, but a little tough to control the two ball from mm -hmm. as far away from the three. Yeah, I think the key to this game is just getting a good shot on the two after you make the combination. It's funny how they're all on the one side of the table there, all the balls. Real nice. Great job. Control both balls beautifully. Now he just needs to come down here. And tuck right under the 10. Nice, 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 nice. Home free from here, I think. Yeah, it's a, a, a there's not anything difficult left. Mm -hmm. Just make the balls. Yep. He, he didn't hit that hard enough. He, yeah, he'll leave a stretcher. Yeah. A little bit of a stretch. Yeah. In, uh, but he's, you know, he says, yeah, all right. Yeah, he's Not gotta, a problem. Got to play the six in the side but pocket. He's also holding the bridge. See, his palm is up. All right. 
back, back in line. You know, it, it, to me, it doesn't even seem natural holding it like that. Yeah, uh, you know, yeah, I'm going to have to try that. It's another thing to try when I get home yeah, tonight. Yeah, because I, I mean, I was always taught on the bridge you know, to move your arm this way. Always, yeah, you know, like fall, this. You know, where, you know, where and hold it where your, down. Where your arm is level with the right. table yeah. and then go back and forth. Uh, yeah. But um, not even possible with your palm facing down. No, they, 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 they hold the bridge with their palm facing down. So they're holding the bridge with their with their palm facing up, and they're oh. and they're still shooting with the other hand like we do. But instead of holding it like this, ah, ah. Like, like you know, like we do, oh, they hold they hold it the back so, hand. So so if you're going to move the, the the bridge with your right hand, you're talking about the left the hand, other hand being palm yeah, up. Yeah, their other hand palm up. Yeah, I've never seen that. Both players yeah, have done that I'll have now. To look at the, look. So when I get home, I'll have to try that. Yeah. A nice out from Chris Milling, and uh, it ties things up at six. I'm not a big fan of the bridge. Uh, being tall, I, in the old days, I never had to use it, you know. Not very often. You know, there were only three spots on the table that I couldn't reach, and I knew where they were, so I Ooh. made sure I didn't get left there. Uh, myself and uh, Alex Pegginline, we were over in South Carolina playing a bar table tournament, right. and Alex, Alex needs the bridge on the bar table. <laughs> <laughs> They they had to go find it. They didn't, they, didn't, they didn't even have one handy. Well, I'll tell you one even worse than that. I had opened my pool room and I had a checklist with like 200 things on it, everything down to matchbooks and salt shakers and mm -hmm. had the whole work. So anyway, checked everything off, like 200 things on the list. Uh, this guy's been driving me nuts, Rex Cannon. Every day was coming by. When are you going to open, Mayor? When are you going to open? So anyway, finally I said, "Okay, go ahead here." And I handed him a rack of balls, and he goes over to the table. He's my first customer, and he's not down there like two minutes, and he hollers up at me. He says, "Mary, he says, uh, where are the Bridgers?" They never entered my mind because I never <laughs> used one. You know, if I couldn't reach it, I shot behind my back because I used to be skinny in those days. And uh, I couldn't believe it. I said, oh my God, I had this 200 item list and, the, and one of the main things that I should have for a pool room. So I had to call up Ronnie Ayotte. He says, Ronnie, help me, help me. I need 19 bridges immediately. <laughs> and he had them. That's funny. Ronnie says, A, is that Ronnie, Ronnie Allen? No, no, Ronnie uh, Ayotte. That had oh, the, oh, the gotcha, billiard gotcha. supply. I was going to say, I didn't know Ronnie Allen was in the no, billiard no, supply. No, no. <laughs> No, Ronnie Ayotte. He's still around. I heard he showed up at the Rum Runner tournament. Uh, I just missed him last time. But anyway, he told me, give me an hour and a half and I'll bring him over. I said, okay, great. So I had to go in the back and pull a bridgehead out of my, my own pool cue case and give it to Rex and let him use it. And then you know how businesses post the first dollar, they frame the first dollar? What do you think I got? For your very first bill? For the, my first sale. I sold, a, I sold a soda to a kid. It was a dollar and he gave me a roll of nickels. <laughs> <laughs> did, you hang, did you hang them on the wall? I, I had to have a little case, special made. For the little roll of, roll of nickels to put oh, on the funny. wall. Yeah, yeah. I mean, that's how I run, you know. <laughs> that's what you're rolling, Nichols. That's what do you want me to do with this? <laughs> Could have been two rolls of pennies. <laughs> uh, those were good days. Well, I don't know if Chris can see the pocket with this two ball. We'll find out in a second here. Yeah, I think he can see it. Threaded between all those balls. What a beautiful shot. And with authority. Very and, nice. Yeah, and he's on the three. That's yeah. a hell of a yeah. shot. Very nice. I think I'll look at it real quick. Here it comes. We just it, that that shot took so long, and we only caught half of it on the replay. Now he's going to do it again. <laughs> he's going to try to thread the needle again. Uh, or is he just going to stick him there? And he says, "No stick in here." Very nice. Well, I think he's out of the woods after this shot. Yep, the hard work is done.
waste any time once he gets uh, gets in line. Taking the lead, 7-6, Chris Melling. and just jawed the nine ball on the back table to make it to have a chance to get out and make it 5-4. Rack 14, here we go. Shot on the one when he's in the trees. It doesn't even really make much sense to make it. Chris gave the shot back to Efren. And again, that simple uh, just placing a ball between the, the cue ball and the object ball. for his jump cue. Yeah. Bringing out the short cue. Yeah. He's calling it in the corner. dangerous with the object ball near the rail has a tendency the cue ball has a tendency to hop off the rail if you don't hit it real good well he hit it was unsuccessful and he left the ball in front of the side and spread the balls open pretty well so now, what does Efren do? Now well, it's tricky getting on the two. He's coming down here. Does he want to play? Yeah, to come into the underneath the ten, 
or do you want to get back out into the center of the table and use the 10 as a stopper to play shape for the three? I think he's going to play to get into the 10. Or <laughs> even better than that. Wow. Well, now he could uh, use a 10 to hold for the three ball. Yeah, as a stopper, yeah. Beautiful. Well, I think it's pretty routine from here. That was the problem. Now, depending on where it lays, you can either slide over and shoot the five in the upper left-hand pocket, or you can roll forward and shoot the five in the upper right-hand corner pocket. He's making that decision now before he shoots. Okay, he chose to roll forward. Now, does the six go on the side, or is he going to come up uh, and shoot the six in the same pocket? Beautifully done. Six in the same pocket. Well, he came up a little high. So we gave him uh, same decision to make here. I think he wanted to shoot the seven in the same pocket also. You know, that eight's laying funny on the side over there. Hmm. It's on the wrong side of the seven to shoot it up table. What a beautiful shot. And he had to get pretty good on the on the eight ball. Yeah, it's laying funny. Sitting. He might not even have come over enough. Yeah, maybe not. Very close to that, uh, uh, that point. To get straighter on it. Yeah, these can come off real funny at that point. Yeah, he's hitting it with a touch of outside. With a little low ball. Oh, he hit the tit. Point. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, guys. <laughs> Wash my mouth out with soap. Stop it. <laughs> it's all good, Mary. <laughs> all right. Uh, Chris Milling now. Big break. His cue ball foul, so only Chris Milling leaned over to ask us. Okay. Glad you knew, because I didn't. Yes. Yeah, they had a, it's funny because they usually play all fouls yeah, they in had, these they, events. They had announced that the players mean that it was going to be cue ball fouls only. Yeah, I like it better that way. Yeah, no, yeah. nobody, uh, uh, no player wants to win a game because his, uh, his opponent touched Yeah, and there's barely. nobody to call it. Yeah, no, no, no there's referees. There's no referees and... Uh, Chris is uh, thrilled 
to win this game. First. That's right, 8-7, Chris Melling. Efren is sick because he didn't tie it up. Yeah, he had a chance to. Yeah, he's, he, you can hear him throw the balls on the table. He's angry. <laughs> All right, eight games to six. The English magician, Chris Melling. Do some magical stuff uh, on the table. He's a, he's a great player. We were talking a little bit uh, earlier uh, after one of the ma after his match with Roberto was over, and uh, he told me that uh, he feels like he's just coming into his own after all these years. He said he feels he feels like he can win anything he plays in. Feels and, solid. Uh, yes, and uh, you know, and that's a powerful feeling to get. Yeah. And. Uh, Rack 15, Efren Reyes uh, trying to pull within one. And he needs them all. Okay, one in the corner. Two, will it dress up? Boy, look at this. Ooh, this is just a three, three just would not get out of the way. It, it, you know, it, and I, we it's talk, always the ball, we the talk, last ball rolling. Yeah, we talk about this all the time. That last it's ball the last rolling one, seems boy. to cause so much yeah. trouble. It's almost always the last one. Mm. Well, Efren's going to spin it to win it here. He may, he may not. He may, yeah, he didn't have enough to get in there. Yeah. He got in there pretty good. Did he get him? It's close. Three doesn't go anyway. It's not even worth uh, shooting, I don't think. There's no reward. I mean... You can hit the rail before the pocket on, on the diamond tables, but uh, you don't want to have to do that. Efren Reyes now. Trying to figure out what to do with this three ball. Now the two. Wait a minute. The two is still in the corner. I, I missed it. The two is still hanging. Smelling with ball in hand and uh, should be out here for the set. Barring the unf unforeseen, of course. Yeah. If I know, is that get cost in the match? Now, do you play this ball off the six or you just leave it sitting there? Well, if I six, think I would leave it sitting Yeah, if the there. six goes and I can leave it, I'm yeah. leaving it. Yeah, Buddy Hall always just say, why, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Yeah, he used to tell me you're never going to balls unless you're just absolutely forced to. I think Dennis Rocoyo came back and got Max Everly on the next table.
Dennis. Dennis won nine two. Yeah, Dennis. Head went nuts. Home. Yeah. Thank you. Wow. Yeah, Dennis. Uh, <laughs> Dennis. Dennis Arcoyo yeah. uh, was uh, Max had him four to two. Yeah, and Dennis And then won. Dennis put seven in a row yeah. together to yeah. win nine four. Yeah, that's what I kept saying. Uh, Dennis, like, Dennis won won another one. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. Well, this could be the match. He got there. It's going to be a real thrill for Chris to beat uh, the person that people consider is the greatest of all time yeah. to get to the finals in a, an event like this. The real magician. 